What's up guys, the Project Photographer found in the video. And today people, we're gonna be shooting last day of photography at the beach, back with another coronavirus photo shoot as always. Um, it's gonna be pretty good, I hope. Uh, it's really overcast if you guys can't tell. Hopefully that doesn't interfere with anything. Plus I've never been to this beach, so hopefully it's all good in that department. It's the first time shooting with uh, my 14 to 30 that I just got. I'm gonna be using my Nikon Z6 on there with the 14 to 30. Uh, I got my new NDs as well. So there's a lot of new things going on here. And hopefully it all turns out really good. I gotta come back to you guys with some good photos. So hopefully it turns out good. Okay, so I just got down to the beach and first impressions, it is really crowded here. Like it's insanely crowded for no reason. Well, I know why, but it's just really crowded. So shooting landscapes here is probably not gonna be easy. Um, I mean, there's only so much I can do with a 10 stop ND filter in terms of getting rid of people. So yeah, there's that. The lighting is just not working pretty much. It's just, it doesn't look that good. So I just gotta make do with what I got and hopefully things turn out right. I'll be throwing you guys on my GoPro. So you guys get a first person point of view. And yeah, let's do it. Well, what's up guys? We're now behind the scenes, behind the camera, and I'm gonna give you guys my first person point of view and talking about what I was thinking throughout the shoot and my thought process behind certain uh, ideas or subjects or what I was just thinking pretty much. So this is the first photo. And uh, as you can see, my main goal is to pretty much get the water nice and blurred out. Well, and not uh, completely glossed over. That's kind of one of the main things I was focusing on the shoot. And we'll go ahead and take another photo. Um, I take a lot of test photos because I want to be able to make sure that I get the right composition. And even though this is not necessarily the composition I'm looking for right now, I'm just kind of practicing it. So when I come back later, I can just go right to it and shoot. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on now. And we're gonna go ahead and keep on working on this composition here. So I, again, I really like this idea of being able to blur out the water, but not have super long exposures, like more than 30 seconds. I think the exposure like this works better because uh, you want to capture the movement in the water, not necessarily just have things completely glossed over. Take another test shot here and kind of the same concept again. I think this is a much cleaner one, but people in the photo, so I can't really do much with it anyway. So yeah, let's move on with the video. So currently the beach is really, really crowded. Um, but that's okay because right now it's about 6 30. The sun doesn't set till about 8 or so So I'm banking on that for people to go ahead and just get out of here um, But for now, it's actually pretty decent right now. I'm just gonna be finding compositions and That's a pretty nice composition right there. And I think it's gonna work out really really well So I'm gonna keep looking for compositions just walk around and see what's over there around here so that's what I'm gonna do for now while this beach is super crowded because I don't want people in my pictures. When the time is right and the lighting is good, I can go back there and just do some photos. So now we are on the other side of the beach here and I am working with the rocks and not these rocks specifically, but uh, as you can see later, uh, I want to work with rocks and kind of use those as my main subject matter. That rock right there, I kind of want to make that the main subject of my photographs and I want to kind of use the water as being able to encapsulate the rock and kind of be able to stand, make it stand out as a subject and make it the main part of the photo. So this is the photo that I took. Uh, as you can see, it's very off-center because it doesn't have a vertical flip-out screen like some of the Fujifilm cameras, which I wish it did. But uh, I'm gonna be working on the composition a little more as we go on. First photo, not always the best. Keep on going here. Um, move my tripod over and kind of see if I can get a better composition angle. You see the water kind of glosses over the rock itself. So I wanna be able to not make that a thing and I like the movement of this photo obviously but it's just a thing that I want to make the rock the main subject so I want the water to kind of go around the rock rather than it being on top of the rock. So this next composition um, as you can see the water is much calmer here so I'm able to get a much better composition idea as to what I wanted. Um, this photo I was able to get the water to go around the rock rather than be on top of the rock and as you can see with the edited version it definitely makes it stand out more and since I added more clarity with 
the water it was able to make the water be a bit more a part of the photo and make it a bit more exaggerated in terms of the movement but again the rock is a main subject here and i got what i wanted but we're going to keep on moving on here uh kind of gonna pick up my camera and move it somewhere else so i can go find some other subjects i want to look at uh, i like this idea of having the rock as a main subject so i find another little rock here and kind of gonna work towards this one and work with it see what i can do vertical orientation just makes the most sense because i'm able to make sure that the rock is the main subject and i'm able to exaggerate the foreground elements a bit more so vertical orientation definitely makes the most sense here uh the thing with this photo is that it is very much off by a lot in terms of being able to be centered with the horizon and level but uh, i like the movement here with the water that's kind of what i'm working towards gonna make another exposure here uh, adjusting things before i do so the water is much calmer over here, which I think is much more beneficial, but when you look at it in terms of the actual photo itself, um, I was shooting with a one second exposure, so the water is much more exaggerated in terms of the movement. But again, I'm not trying to cover the rock up with the water, I'm trying to get the same concept as a previous photo. And I'll take another exposure right now, and it's kind of a longer one, and I wait for the water to kind of recede, and you can see that in this photo here the water kind of pushes back towards the ocean recedes and you have still the water coming towards the rock so i think it gives it this nice sort of dynamic and i really like it when you look at the editor version i think it's really nice um i like how especially the sky and the ground have similar light and it's not all one sided in terms of the exposure um, able to make the rock stand out and again with the editing I was able to make sure that the movement of the water stayed very clean and, and stood out much more in the unedited version Yeah, that's pretty much it for me shooting on this side of the beach um, Wipe my camera down because that's what good photographers do. So yeah, let's keep going So currently I am walking back to the other side I walked over there to the other side of the beach where I was kind of shooting some like rocks, some close-ups, trying to get in the foreground and work with the water pretty much. That was, that's what I was trying to do. Um, so now it's around like 7.30. It should be golden hour, but as you can see, it is far from that. So I'm gonna walk back to the other side and take a photo of that cliff area. That's kind of the main thing I was trying to shoot today. So yeah, I got my 10 stop. I'm gonna have like a five minute exposure. So it's gonna be quite a photo. Hopefully it all works out and yeah, See you guys over there. Like I mentioned with the previous part of my video, is that I wanted to come back here and shoot more exposures when there was less people. And now there are less people, so I can go ahead and do just that. So I go ahead and throw on my 10 to stop ND filter because I just want to see what a five minute exposure would look like. And I mean, this is the time lapse of me shooting exposure. It was pretty long. Uh, and this is the result. And as you can tell, it's very underexposed. If I wanted two more stops to say, I would have to go up to like like 20 minutes and there's no way i was gonna do that this is what the exposure would have looked like if it was exposed correctly but i digress and uh not necessarily what i was going for so i'm gonna continue work on this sort of subject here is kind of what i was trying to work towards uh, take off the end test up any filter because if i'm trying to grab focus it's impossible to get the focus through the 10 stop filter so i'm just gonna set my aperture here kind of adjust focused and work on that so i'm gonna go ahead and throw on back my 10 stop any filter see if I can get a little bit of different composition and see if I can work towards something that I think is more of a keeper. So another time lapse of me shooting and this is the result. My shutter speed was probably around two minutes. So this was what it would look like without all that color cast and all the lighting kind of worked out a bit. Uh, it's definitely a interesting unique photo, but honestly, I like the versions where there's more movement in the water. And I think it just makes a better photo overall. So let's keep working towards that and keep going. And after moving three times, still don't really care for having a 10 stop. So I go ahead and take off the ND filter. This time going more the vertical orientation, seeing what it can do. Um, I don't really care to shoot cliff sides in the vertical orientation, mainly because I just think they look better in the horizontal orientation, just because of how the cliffs are themselves, how they're shaped. And that was the result. As you can see, the water actually does a better job in terms of the movement. So that is thanks due to the vertical orientation, but I personally don't care for it. Uh, the subject that I want in the background doesn't really work too well in vertical orientation, like I said. So with that being said, I move it back into the horizontal orientation because again, the cliff side just looks better in the horizontal orientation. Go ahead, take another exposure. And this is one I actually really like a lot. Um, I love the movement of the water and I just love the lighting and just the fact that it's so even and 
As you can see with the edited version, I think it really does it justice here. Uh, there wasn't too much color, but I think when it came down to editing, I think I was able to exaggerate the parts that I really wanted to, especially looking at the sky, the water, and then the cliffside. I think it all looks great. Just like the colors, what I think is missing. That's pretty much it for me actually going out and shooting. And these are the photos that I actually thought I should edit and I really liked. Um, there, here we go, we have the two rocks and I thought I did a great job with the movement. Both are two very different photos in terms of how the water moves. And then the last photo I really like, I think they're all great photos. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below, which was your guys' favorite photo. And let's get back to the video. All right, so that is essentially it for me, shooting landscape photography. And there really wasn't much here, but I think what was here was pretty good. Um, there was the rocks on the other side and then this little thing over here, that's a cliff side. So I thought it went pretty well. Um, let me know what you guys think of the photos. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna head back to my car and then drive home from there. Uh, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below, which was your favorite photo. Um, I'll get back to you guys in the next video. Until then, I'll catch you later.